Another day in court for Alexei Navalny, this time round a defamation hearing. He is accused of slandering a World War II veteran who appeared in this ad on Russian state channel RT, promoting last year's constitutional changes. Navalny had called those who took part traitors. You can't see what I saw but couldn't film in the courtroom. The 95-year-old veteran beamed in via video link, looking a little bewildered. This is what Navalny had to say to those who'd put him there. Halfway through, the old man felt unwell and an ambulance was called, but he seemed to recover. The hearing will resume next Friday. The whole process in there with the veteran on Zoom and these mysterious other people in the room around him seems so absurd and stage managed. Alexei Navalny dealing with it in the way that he does all the court processes he's had to be a part of with a mix of exasperation, sarcasm and humour. Also in Moscow, the EU's top man meeting with Russia's foreign minister. It must have been frosty. The news dropping a few hours later that three European diplomats have been expelled for participating in the protests. Over the last years, our relations have been marked by fundamental differences and by lack of trust. It's true that they're not at their best, including due to one-sided illegitimate restrictions which are introduced by the EU under trumped-up pretexts. Meanwhile, videos of detainees cramped in unsanitary cells in a centre outside Moscow swept through the Russian web. Still filled with protest spirit, though, chanting all for one and one for all in Alexei Navalny's honour. After two weekends of demonstrations and more than 11,000 arrests, Navalny's team say that's it for now. But they're planning fresh protests for later in the year, ahead of parliamentary elections in September. Diana Magne, Sky News, Moscow.